Tech Edinam fans, we are going to continue exploring the built-in variables. Suppose the web app you are writing automated tests for requires you to upload a file or files. You need to know the path of the file to upload. That is where the curdir built-in variable comes in. For this use case, I have made a dummy file upload app to mimic what your web app might look like. So let's see. So this is the dummy file upload app I have, which enables you to upload a file. So let's see how it works. So we choose, click on choose file, and we select the file and upload. So we just appends the image, in this case, to the page. But normally it should upload to um, the database of your company. So let's see how we can make the robot framework do that for us. So let's go to PyCharm. For this, let us create an images folder in the resources. So let's say images. And now we can put the image in that folder. So let's see. So let me just drag the image. Or let me just copy the image. Let's go back to PyCharm. So this is the image. Yes. Now let's create the test suite for that in the test cases folder. So that will be, let's say, upload.robot in the test cases folder. Now let me quickly just copy this and paste over here. And let's delete all these since we are not registering any employees. So let me delete this. Yeah, so we still have the test suite set up and tear down. And we are going to use a different URL in this case because it's a different web app. So let's go and copy that URL from here. And use that instead of this variable. Now let's create a test case. Let's say upload a picture and let's tag it. So let's say tags and then let's say pick for the picture. So let's go back to the web app and see what we can use for the locators. So let's right click and inspect the elements. So this is it. Typically the element which we use for the upload is an input element with a type of file. The normal ones we have been using, they have the type of text which enables you to type in the input box or the input field. But to upload a file, you need to use an input with the type of file. And then the ID is the file upload. So let's use this as a locator. So let's see. So let's use um, input. And then since it is an attribute, use the add sign type is equal to file and we have one element matching this is the x path in the part one of this robot framework tutorial i made mention that we have several um, strategies to use this is the x path and we have the css selector as well that is similar to the x path selector but uh, the x path strategy the only difference is that it doesn't have the two forward slashes and then the at sign also goes away 
So we still have the same outcome, one element matching. So if you are using the CSS strategy, then you can do it this way. If not, you can just use the next part. So let's see how the CSS is also written in the robot framework. So let me just select this. Let's copy, let's go back to PyCharm and let's wait until element is visible. So now we don't type expat because this is not an expat, it's a CSS strategy. So we type CSS and then put in what we created, the locator we created from the crew path. Let's put the 10 seconds. And then let's check for the upload button as well. So let's go back. Let's see what it says. Yeah, so we can use the text or we can use the ID. So let's use the ID. So we have the element button and then the ID to be upload button. Upload button. So we have one element matching. So let's go back to PyCharm. Control D to duplicate. And then let's put the button locator over there. So we're going to wait until the element, the input with the type file to be visible and the button with the ID upload button to be visible as well. And then let's continue. So for this, to upload a, a file, we need the path to the file. And we have an inbuilt variable for that, which is the core dir. So let's log that one and see what it says. And yes, so let's run this file and see. I'm in a different folder, so let's navigate documents. And then yes, so now let's run the robot let's run the file the upload file then let's specify the logs and then the file to run so the test case is folder and then the upload file let's enter to so upload the file yes everything passed so let's open the log and check if indeed, yes, it passed. So this is the content of the code dir variable. Where the test suite was. So it is showing us the folder, the directory in which the file we run is. So this upload file is in the test cases folder. So let's continue. But the image to upload is in the images folder and, and that images folder is in the resources folder as well whilst the upload.robot file is in this test case directory so what do we have to do so let's create a variable called image path and then since we are going to store a value in it, we need to use a set variable. And then now we need the path. And this code dir gives us the path to this directory where the upload.robot file is. So let's specify that one, core dir. But now we have to leave the test cases directory and go into the resources directory and then to the images directory and then to the file itself so what do we do for a slash and then two dots the two dots mean you want to leave that folder the current folder you are in is the same i did over here the cd dot dot change directory so this dot dot means you want to leave the current folder or directory in which you are in 
So now we, know, we want to navigate to another folder. What is the resources folder? And then to the images folder. And then to the image itself. JPG. Now let's log. Oh, we don't need to log. It's just, yeah, let us run the file again and see what we have. Yes, it passed. Now let's check. So this is the image path we have now. So this is the path to the pick one. So what do we do next? Let's go back to PyCharm and continue. There is a keyword we can use to upload a file. That keyword is choose file and it takes the locator and then the file path. This locator is this particular locator, the input field and then the path to the image to upload. So this path. So we are now going to copy this CSS input as a locator and then a file path will be the image path. So that is it. But let's go back to the and let's see. Look at this path well and see if there is something wrong with the path. So now let's run the file again and let's see if it passes or it fails. So let me run the file again. It says failed. So let's check why it failed. It is trying to send, it says what, sending blah, blah, blah to browser. So it's trying to send this pic.jpg to the browser. But there was an error. It says unknown error. Path is not canonical. Let's look at the path once again. As you can see, this is from, um, and so here, this is from the core deer. But this is the one we typed in. The first slash dot dot blah, blah, blah. It needs to be in this format. Backslash, backslash, backslash. There is another keyword we can use. So the path is in the path in which the choose file keyword requires it to be. So that keyword will basically solve this error for us. Let's go and check what that keyword is. So let, let's minimize and go back to PyCharm. And that keyword is normalize path. And it's an operating system keyword, meaning we have to import it. It's not, um, it doesn't come with the Selenium library. It's in the another library, the operating system library. So we need to import it. Yeah, this is it. That's been imported because we, we wrote it over here. So, and that one takes the path. So let's see what it does, the normalized path. It says, collapses, random, uh, redundant separators, blah, blah, blah. Converts forward slash to backslash on Windows. So this is what we need. Converts the forward slash to backslash on Windows. So now let's see. And, and it returns the new path. So what does it take? It takes the path to the file to upload and then it returns it. So we can now store that new path, that normalized path in the already created image path variable. Previously, I was trying to upload a file and it wasn't working. After so many hours of research, I found this normalized path we solved the issue. So let's try it and see. So now that we have we have normalized the path, let's try it one more time. 
but this just um, up, um this just appends or this just selects the the image or the file to upload so now let's click the upload button so we have it over here so let's click the upload button let me sleep for two seconds before we click the upload button and then maybe after the upload button is clicked let's leave for another two seconds and let's see what is happening so let's see hopefully everything passes yes so now the file has been uploaded let's run it one more time let's put another sleep over here yeah so another two seconds so it is waiting now it has attached the and now just click the upload button so this is basically how to upload a file how to let the test case in robot framework upload a file and this also works with other files not only pictures it also works with excels and pdfs and blah 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 all you have to do is get the path right and don't forget to use the normalized path so it changes or it puts the path into the correct format <clears throat> sorry now let us check the log so let's open the normalized path and this is the path after we used the normalized path keyword. Now let's compare it to before we used it. So this is the path before we used the normalized path. You can see we still have forward slashes in the path. And now after using the normalized path keyword, they changed to the backward slashes thank you for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share because more content is coming thank you